Ashley, my name is Liz and I just want to let you know that I really enjoyed your video blog. You have to excuse my surroundings. Uh, I'm with family and this is the only quiet place that I can find to be able to talk to you today. Uh, I just want to let you know that I appreciate your thoughts and how you were able to break down both sessions. I agree with you when you said that you were drawn to the first uh, therapist because he was able to provide a safe place for good conversation, uh, making the uh, client feel comfortable. Me, I, I was driven more towards uh, Dr. Tax because I felt that he also provided a safe place and he was able to bring up uh, points to challenge the client to start doing things on her own. I felt like there was some action movement in there. Um, you brought up the question for eye contact. You asked if that is intimidating. For me, I feel um, it depends on general course of conversation, I would say that it's it's normal. I feel like I would be, if, if a therapist was looking at me, I would feel like they're hearing me, validating that they're hearing me. Um, I, it, I was looking at a journal article. Uh, the title was Eye Contact and Patient-Centered Communication. It's by Rita uh, Gurwara and Mary Cook. And uh, in there it said, looking is the central component of listening. And uh, I agree with that. I feel that it is a central component and it shows that we are hearing our clients. However, I do feel that as counselors, if we uh, are looking at our clients and making them feel uncomfortable, we can change the atmosphere, providing a better place for them to feel comfortable. I think that is up to us. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for your thoughts and I hope you have a great day.